Hello everyone! Today I want to talk to you about um, the books I read in the first part of February. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So first of all, I read seven books in the first part of February, so until the 14th. Um, I read two of them in physical form and uh, five of them as audiobooks. They were pretty short audiobooks. And I'm going to go from the book I liked the least to the one I liked the most. So um, the book I liked the least was Looker by Laura Sims. So I listened to this one on audiobook. And um, well, we follow this woman who is obsessed with the actress who lives on her block. And um, her husband left her a few months before and she doesn't know what to do with her life basically she's a professor at this community college where she teaches um mostly poetry if i remember correctly and um i just thought it was so bad i mean for one i thought like the message of this book was that some women could not be happy uh, unless she had a man and that's something I'm not okay with and also um, I just didn't think this main character was interesting I just thought she made extremely bad choices and she was extremely immature and I just I really hated this book I honestly feel like I lost my time but I I'm pretty happy I didn't have to buy it at least as I listened to it on audiobook but um, yeah I just I really hated it now I'm going to say a few spoilers so spoiler alert because there are really some things that bothered me that I need to talk about and one of these things is that at some point she kills her cat because uh, she doesn't want it to uh, get taken because of her divorce, because the cat used to be um, her her husband's cat uh, in the beginning, and so she doesn't want to risk losing it, so she kills it, and like she tells you how um, how the cat makes a noise when she kills it, and honestly, like would you really kill a cat just for someone not to get it? Like what? That was so crazy and also the ending was absolutely terrible like honestly this book did not make any sense i i get people who are crazy but even crazy people make some sense to me i think like i really love uh brett easton ellis's books and he loves making crazy characters but they still make sense they're interesting they're smart but she's not smart she was just the worst honestly i hated this book so much um also yeah at some point she has um a, a relationship with one of her students so again like why are you just stupid and yeah just it was so bad but anyway that was it um the next book i'm going to talk about is you by caroline kepnes i read this book because i wanted to watch the show and i'm currently watching it it's on netflix and um i did really enjoy this book but um there's many commentaries that i really didn't like mostly a lot of crude sex comments that just uh, jarred me out of the story every time and I didn't think that they really added much um, but besides that I was really interested so we follow Joe who stalks uh, this girl Beck that he meets at his bookstore that he uh, where he works um, and the thing is Beck is exactly the kind of girl that I hate like she's extremely superficial and materialist and she uh, posts so much on 
all the social medias and um and she's absolutely self-obsessed and I just hated her so I know it's, I just I could not feel bad for her though someone is talking her so I really enjoyed that and also um, it is narrated in the second person so he is always talking you know to you to her and um, and that was really an experience and I just I really enjoyed this book but also yeah it did me make me uncomfortable uncomfortable at times and so is the show but that's also the point so overall I really did enjoy it um, the next book I'm going to talk about is Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick so this is a memoir that I listened to on audiobook and um, I just really wanted to listen to it because Anna Kendrick is one of my favorite actresses and um, yeah I just wanted to know a little bit, bit more about her and I did um, she used to be a child actor so she talked about that, what it was like growing up and also that she struggled a lot uh, as she was trying to be an actress though uh, she has been an actress for uh, for ages because she was a child actor she still really struggled and still to this day um, it is hard for her at times and she got used to it and I really enjoyed it like it was exactly what I wanted from it so that was cool and also she narrates the audiobook so that's always great um the next two books I read on audiobook as well were Artificial Condition and Rogue Protocol um, the second and third book in the Murder Box Diaries by Martha Wells um, the first one is All Systems Red by Martha Wells as well and uh, I really love this I read it last month it is about uh, this robot who um, who really likes TV shows basically and though he is a robot he feels very human and he is uh, he exists to help uh, humans he's there to protect them he's there for security and um, he is basically trying to live his life um, he's supposed to help people but um, he kind of has his freedom right now, though he's not supposed to. And uh, we just follow him on his adventure and him trying to be independent. So I really am enjoying it. And I really love uh, the narrator of the audiobooks, Kevin R. Free. Uh, so that is really great. Um, the next book I'm going to talk about is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas I wanted to read this book um, well I wanted to read it right now because the movie came out um, a few weeks ago but also I've been wanting to read this book for ages I mean everyone has read it and talked about it and said how amazing it is and I get why I thought it was so great we follow Star who witnesses um, the the death of her best friend he gets shot in front of her and um, and basically it's the story of her trying to um, overcome it uh, because obviously it really impacts her and um, I just really love this story for many reasons for one it made me so angry at times um, obviously so this is inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and um, this movement is just really making me angry because there are so many black people getting killed for literally no reason and uh, that's what happened in this book and I just I really loved also uh, the family aspect in this um, both her parents were really interesting to characters are really well fleshed out and so were her friends um, her best friend was iconic and um, and yeah I, I really enjoyed it from beginning to end 
it was so well written, the characters were great, the story is just so impactful and I did cry at times so that something doesn't happen to me too much and uh, yeah, it was amazing, really. Um, if you haven't read it, you should. The next book and the last one is Hunger by Roxane Gay. So I listened to this one on audiobook as well. Roxane Gay narrates the audiobook, obviously. And, um, well, first of all, uh, trigger warnings for rape, fat phobia, and, um, and eating disorders. Um, so this is her memoir, and basically she talks about um, the fact that she was raped at 12 years old and um, how this impacted her and her body and so she talks about the struggles of being an overweight woman and just an overweight person in general how people treat her and also she she doesn't try to sugarcoat anything she just tells it how it is and that's really refreshing and also really hard to listen to and to read but um, I think it is important and I hope this book helped some people and also she always says that um, it's never over even for her she still struggles um, with her body with being who she wants to be and everything and I just it really did a number on me <laughs> and um, I would really recommend you read it. It's it's really an experience uh, and a, a good one but a very hard one but I, I think it's I, I think she puts um, some very hard things uh, she puts words on very hard things and um, and yeah I think and anyone can relate to some degree even if you're not fat also and um, yeah it was really great but anyway uh, that was the last of the books so um, please tell me what you've read in the beginning of February as I would love to know and uh, I hope to see you soon in another video please subscribe and um, goodbye